Hi loves, welcome back to my channel and happy plan with me a Sunday. So today I will be sharing with you my weekly spread, like how I decorated it and also how I have my personal planner set up. So let's get started. So of course I'm going to be using some cardstock paper that I had left over from crafting. I was working on a lot of pocket letters lately so I have a lot of like scrap paper laying around and I don't want to throw them away so I'm just going to use them in this planner and I really liked how um, my last spread turned out so I wanted to do that again kind of like use more scrapbooking stuff if you know what I mean. So these stickers are really big and they're kind of like really thick almost cardboard material uh, I really like them and I use them mostly for scrapbooking but I thought it would look really pretty on my planner so I'm just placing those two really big floral stickers in the corners and then you know a few here and there just for decorative purposes pretty much I'm just like layering them on top of like scrap paper and whatnot just like that so just really playing around with different textures and patterns and making it look really cute and again these were just kind of laying around so I just really want to use them up instead of throwing them all away and yeah just really mixing different colors here and there and I really like it I love all these kind of like brighter pastel -y colors now I'm going to be taking this sticker set from my shop which has really cute quotes so I will have it linked for you down below, I'll have my shop link. So I'm just using two of the stickers actually, so I'm using the Chanel cup and as you can see I went over the lines a little bit so I'm going in with my X-Acto knife and a ruler just to cut the extra pieces off. And then I'm also using this sticker, it says I love... Um, the smell of coffee in the morning is really cute. I love how I drew this out. So I'm placing that there. And then I'm going in to the I Love Fall sticker set. This has a lot of like title boxes, checklist boxes, um, decorative stickers of course, and just like some task icons too. So I'm going to be placing a lot of these stickers kind of all over the place wherever I need like um, some checklist and stuff like that so you'll see I'll be using like a lot of title boxes here and there some of them say to-do list reminders and all that so I'm just placing it here and there wherever I need to do um, things <laughs> pretty much so yeah you know it's going back and forth and I'm also going to be using other stickers of course so the next sticker I'm using is actually the life task um, icon sticker set so it has more chore wise type of stickers and here's a close-up of the quote stickers that I used earlier I guess that I would show you guys and I'm also using this set from the October sticker set um, I love this one because it has the daily tracker type of things so I love using those for like chores and whatnot and kind of like monthly budgeting and stuff like that so I'm placing that here and there wherever I need those and just using a lot of the chore stickers so like washing the dishes, um, litter box, uh, cleaning the house, and things like that. So as you can see here, I'm going like back and forth through those sticker sheets and just like taking what I need and placing it onto my spread. I'm also using these meal trackers. I've been doing this a lot more and I find that, you know, I it kind of motivates me to cook more, I feel like. So yeah, I'm using those on the days that I'm cooking and what I plan to cook. And also I love using these page flag stickers to um, mark the days I'm going to be uploading a video just to kind of remind myself. And again, going in with just some more decorative stickers here and there just to kind of add more color to my spread and just make it look you know more appealing pretty much and I'm putting this little half box thing there because that's when I'm going to be uploading my plan with me of course um, it needs a space for that and just putting some other cute decorative stickers around it to make it look really cute If I don't mention where something is from, feel free to leave it as a comment down below and ask. Um, but I'm pretty sure like a lot of these, I just use my stickers like from my shop. But you know, I'm sure I'd miss something. So just feel free to ask, you know, don't be afraid. But anyways, yeah, I'm just using uh, more chore stickers here because I like to clean on Saturdays. Sometimes Saturdays or Fridays. When do you guys like to clean your house? Let me know. But I feel like I like to do it more on the weekends, just whenever I have a free time. And yeah, oh, and here you can see 
Um, my stickers are repositionable, so I like that because I always like to move things around after a while. So these stickers right here are from Station Stickers, but it's the Sticker Club collection type of thing. So I absolutely love it. I got this a while back, so it's an older collection from her, but I love these. Um, I haven't used them yet, so I thought I would use a few here and there. They all have gold foiling on them, so I absolutely love that. So that one... It's just like a cute little banner with a heart on it and the little thing that says cleaning and then this one says I think plant and it has a, like a gold dot on it or something. Just like cute little accents of gold foil. I just love it. It's just like so cute and dainty. And then this is a half box that I'm placing right now from my shop and I'm just placing that there with a station sticker. Sticker. <laughs> and then these are more scrapbooking paper scrapbooking stickers wow and i'm just placing that there's like a cute banner that says so cute and here is another sticker set from my shop it's the birthday collection actually and i'm just gonna use the tv sticker i believe and the payday sticker i think that's all i'm gonna use from this one oh nope i use a bow which i love that bow i want to make like a really big one of it um but yeah and then this one's from Carolina's Crafts. I can never say that right. But um, it's from Etsy and I love her chore stickers. And then these, I don't know where they're from, you guys. But I found them in my stash and I love it. So I'm just going to place that there because it's so cute. Because I'm going to the post office anyways that day. But that is pretty much it. This is what my spread looks like. I feel like... I'm so boring today guys so sorry but I'm just tired anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what you think and yeah so stay tuned um, towards the end I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I have my personal planner set up I hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I will see you all soon in my next one bye Alright guys, so this is my personal planner and a lot of you have been asking to see how I have it set up so I thought I would just quickly share with you guys in this plan with me video what it overall looks like and what I use this for. So pretty much before we get into this, um, as you saw I use my happy planner all the time and that is like my life, I use it for everything. Um, now for this planner, I have this for brain dumping. So everything that's in my head, it goes in here. And then like the finalized things go into my happy planner, if that makes sense. So this I have a little bit more fun with. I literally write everything. And I also love this because this is where I put like my wish list, my goals, and also my daily to-do list go in here. So yeah, you will see that. So anyways, this is my personal planner as of right now. Um, this is the binder that I'm using. This is from Webster's Pages. It's the Color Crush in the color walnut, I believe. Anyways, this is it right here. I absolutely love this color. It's so fall. And I really love the inside of this. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, it has like a gorgeous light pink interior and the rose gold. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love. I just, oh, it's so beautiful. I love this. Anyways, this is what it overall looks like. So as you can see here, I have quite a bit of stuff in the pocket area just because I think it looks cute. And some of these are kind of like my must-haves too. So right here is just a photo of me and my husband. Um, I have a paper clip in here. So right here is just like a clear little pocket. So I just put a little journal card in there. This is from Heidi Swap. Um, this cute bow paper clip was from Kate Spade. And then these guys are just cute little die cuts that I have laying around. So I thought it would look cute there. And I like the purple color for fall. I'm not a big fan of like bright orange and just dark things. As you can see, I like lighter colors like pastel and pinky stuff. So this is kind of as fall as I would get with a planner. Um, this just makes me really excited. Um, I tried to do more darker colors for fall and it just, it looked pretty, but I was like, I'm not gonna be so motivated, you know, because I'm not like totally in love with it. So I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll do a fall um, plan with me later, like change the dividers or something. But for right now, I love this and this is like so me. So anyways, these die cuts, um, I got these at like Michael's or something. And then right here I have page flags that is from Target. 
And then back here, I have just a few things. So let's see, I have a ruler. This is just a clear ruler from Kate Spade. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I just have a ruler and then these stickers. I use this planner for budgeting and like tracking down our expenses and stuff like that. So I like to keep these kind of stickers in here. So this is like credit card and then payday and like money. Yeah, so I have those and then I just like to have like some type of color back here. So I have that. It's just like a cardstock that I cut up and now it just goes right in there. And it just looks cute with all the different colors. I love it. So that's what's in the pocket section. And then right here we have, you know, all the inserts. So this is just actually an envelope that I laminated and made into a little divider. And this one's from a friend of mine. How cute, right? Oh, it reminds me of Mia. I love it. And then I have this folder, which I got from an old planner, like a case bay planner. I just cut it up and punch holes. And now it fits and I just have like some stickers in here. So yeah, just random stickers. And then I have this guy it says hello. And then behind it, I have like my personal information. And then also this is like an overview of 2016 and 17. And then we have this divider, which I made. So this is just cardstock paper. And then I put in a journal card. I believe this one's from Heidi Swap. And then these die cuts were from Project Life. And I guess put it all together and laminated it. And here we go. And then this bookmark was from Me and My Big Ideas. And then I have this guy. I don't know, I guess thought it was cute. So I decided to make it. I had like this cute little envelope laying around. Um, so I guess made it into a cute divider. Um, and here I just have extra stickers. These are actually like Polaroid stickers. I love printing up Polaroids, like I have a ton here you guys because I have the Polaroid printer so I just, you know, print off a lot of Polaroids from my trips and stuff and I love putting like cute little stickers on them, like it's just so cute, I love it and I love sticking pictures in my planner too so I just thought that was nice and then right here I have the sheet that just has all the shows that I am currently watching Monday through Sunday. It's just like a little list that I made. Um, these inserts were from Webster's Pages. Like it came with the planner. So it's supposed to be like for journaling. So I'm going to try and do this. Actually, I want to print off like photos and like stick them on here for like per day and just write about it. So that's what, it, that's what I plan on doing with this. Um, and then we have this divider. Again, this is a normal paper from my paper pad. And then this is just a journal card that I put on there. These are the weekly inserts. Um, let's see, these inserts came from the Kate Spade planner. So what I like to do is I just like to write down um, the bills that we have, um, you know, expenses and stuff like that, just to keep track of it. Um, I'm trying to budget better. <laughs> kind of working but next we have my to-do section this is the divider for this so these to-do list pages or inserts are from Kate Spade I never used them so I thought I would finally use it now so this is I think from 2014 and then this one's from 2015 or 2016 I'm not sure but those are from Kate Spade and then right here how cute is this? I don't remember where I got this paper clip. Can you see it? It's so adorable. But um, these inserts I made myself. You can download it on my blog if you want. But um, I'm not going to show you guys because this is expenses. So you can write down the date, what you bought, or if you got paid, and then incoming, outgoing, and balance. So I use this to keep track of our bank statements and stuff like that. So yeah, I just like to write those down sometimes. So I have that. Again, this is downloadable on my blog. Next, we have this section, which is super fun. So I like to write down where I've traveled in the past year or so. So this is just like the, the trips that I took this year. And then right here, I have 2014, 15, and 16. How cute is this sticker? It says places to go, and then like it has these cute little places. And then I just have a world map. Uh, oh, by the way, this is from Google. I didn't make that. And also, this is from Google. I don't remember what I searched, but I found them on Google. Okay, and then we have these um, 
inserts from Webster's Pages. I'll show you an empty one. So it just looks like that, and I think on top it says goals. And then monthly, no, what does it say on top? I don't remember, but then it says monthly goals and stuff like that. But pretty much I made it into whatever I wanted. Um, so this is like all the trip that I took this year. Teaching ideas right here for the holidays. And then um, this is for next year's all ready to go. I guess that was so cute. And then I have like my wish list and goals right here too. And then next section is my to-do list. And this is the divider. Oh, and I have this guy. So cute. This is from Webster's Pages, like that cute insert or divider, whatever you want to call it. So over here, I like to write down my everyday to-do list. So I know I have my like to-do list for um, the days that I have to get them done in my actual planner. But in here, I like to do... I like to make a list of the things I have to do that day and I write them in order. Is that crazy? I don't know. So that's just what I do. And then the last page is where I write down like my accounts information and stuff like that. And this is from a paper pad, by the way. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? I love it. So, okay. So down here, I have it covered, but I have all my accounts information written down. So like passwords and stuff like that. You can actually get this insert, like it's just white like this and it says accounts on top and like this cute little flower here. Um, you can get this on my blog, you can go ahead and print it off, it's free. So I'll have that for you. And then I just have extra notes um, pages here. These are from Kate Spade. And then this is extra paper from Filofax, they're just blank pieces of paper. Good for writing things down. And then I have this little, what is this, like a pocket? Have some stickers in there. And then I like to have this super hard like card stock. I have it laminated and everything. I like to have it here so when I close my, um, my binder or my planner, everything is all together nicely. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like to put this in the back and then right here is just like a cute little clear pocket with some tags. I usually put Polaroids in here, but for now, this is what I have. Okay, and then back here is a cute little list pad. This is also from Webster's Pages. Um, and this pen right here, I don't know where I got it from. I think someone sent it to me, but it says Swarovski on it. It's super cute. It has, like, the crystals in it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, I just put it there because it looks nice. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys. That's everything that's in my personal planner. That's how I have it set up right now. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see like a plan with me in here or like decorate your planner with me video. I think that would be fun. So yeah.